Welcome to the channel on the surf. Here is the family, Sandra, Hector and Jack. My name is Jimmy and we are the family that lives on the surf. Yeah, I've been waiting for this for quite some time and it finally arrived. So let's see what this thing is and what I'm gonna use it for. This is probably gonna fix all my controller problems with the water boiler. It's a really simple thing. It's basically... Yeah, it's sold as a low voltage uh, protection and you just uh, positive and negative in and positive negative out. And on this display you see the actual voltage and with these two buttons you can set the, the voltage when it's gonna turn on and turn off. So. So yeah, I'm gonna hook this in series after the MPPT and hopefully it works as I want it. And the rest of the LED lights has also arrived. Yeah, so it's finally time to install this little circuit board and hopefully get uh, the water boiler up and running like it should be. So I'm just gonna figure out where to mount it. I think it's gonna be there somehow, somewhere. But first we're gonna reset um, the MPPT. Switch that. Battery type sealed. So now it's on, so let's turn it off. Now it's off, now we can cut the cable. So I'm just gonna find some tools. About there. So now it's connected, it's still fused here, so let's turn the power on and set that up. Yeah, I have figured out how to set it up. So first I want my gauges to be the same, so the MPPT says that it's 26.0 volts. So let's start with calibrating this uh, thing. Long press. Now it says 25.9 and it should be 
26.1 let that time out so let's say the low voltage cutoff should be 27 and uh, yeah so now they are at 26 volts press once the low voltage is at 27 the LED is off that means it's off so uh, let's set up 27 I want it to turn back on at 28.5 volts so I'm gonna press the minus button once double click 1.5 27 1.5 see if it saves yeah so now the batteries are at 26.1 the LED is off both the fridges are running so it's gonna take a while for it to get up to 28.5 it's gonna turn on so it's just a wait but that's how to set it up because in the instructions is it it said only to hold the positive but that's just for set the calibration value you just press one short and this display changes double click then you set the low voltage disconnect and same with uh, the voltage return setting press the negative ones double click it set it so now it's on there yeah I'm gonna mount that up here when I have checked so that everything works as it should but for now I'm just gonna leave it as it is And that one is on. So now it's just to wait and let the solar charge up the batteries at full. Then we're gonna see. But uh, the temperature in uh, the water in the water boiler is 19 degrees Celsius. So let's see how this turns out. It works great, just as I wanted. And the batteries are still about full. About 95% when it turns off and it turns on. And it's gonna keep doing that. Today it's a bit uh, cloudy. So let's see, the solar is putting in 145 watts right now and the load is 260 so negative 5 amps when it's running but it works great just as it's supposed to. It turns off when uh, the batteries are down to 85 90 percent something and turns on when they're full i'm gonna fiddle a little bit with uh, the voltage but i'm in the ballpark but uh, a couple of small tweaks and then we are done perfect now we have free hot water in the boat all the time and no shore power it's amazing yeah, so now we are done for today. LED lights are finished in the entire boat. That uh, special um, dump load uh, circuit board is connected and it works great. So I will leave a link down below to that. Links to uh, the LED lights I'm also going to put down in the video description. 
and maybe some other stuff that I forgot. So yeah, that's all the boat work uh, for today. And if you already haven't, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to have uh, more content or access to more content, there are uh, you can uh, jump over to my Patreon account. And there also there is um, uh, a chat function and uh, messages and yeah. And if you uh, want some uh, help or advice or anything, it's uh, there you can get in contact with me. Because uh, on YouTube there are no function to uh, direct communicate. So jump over there. There is a lot more content. And uh, now I'm happy. All the functions are good to go. And the toilet is working. So all the big project for this winter is done. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, see you next time.